I'm Matt Chris with Benson Hill. We were founded in 2012, and we've grown pretty dramatically over the course of the last eight years. We're really focused at this intersection of data science and genomics with plant biology, as well as food science. And we've invested very heavily in our CropOS technology platform, uh, short for Crop Operating System. We use CropOS to make better food and ingredients. And what that means is better being more sustainable, being more nutritious, being better tasting, and really working on bridging the gap that has historically existed between the farmer and the consumer, starting from the beginning with better seed and ultimately using that seed to make better food and ingredients is a linkage that hasn't really existed. And we're looking at ways that biology, which transcends the entire value chain, can be applied to create differentiated products and value for both of those stakeholders. Earlier this year, we announced the launch of UHP soy, or ultra high protein soy. Ultra high protein soy is a really exciting product. Though we don't launch it until 2021, we really thought it interesting to begin talking about now because we can essentially create protein content in soybeans that's so high, we don't have to go through some of the secondary processing that allows you to get to soy protein concentrate. Soy protein concentrate, for those who don't know, is the number one ingredient in uh, alternative meat analogs like Impossible Foods, for example. Essentially, we've created something that's not just more sustainable in a fairly significant way, more nutritious as well, but can hit a price point that nobody else in this entire industry can hit. Another announcement that we did earlier this year was the launch of 30,000 contracted acres. The crop that we're planting this year will be used to commercialize our high oleic, low linolenic soybean oil, which is a healthy soybean oil, uh, the only non-GMO version on the market actually. Uh, and then the other is an array of high protein ingredients, both for the uh, human food and the animal feed market. Another announcement we made this year was the hiring of Jason Bull, who's our new chief technology officer. Uh, Jason has a remarkable track record of tying data science to plant science and leading very large organizations that have used uh, next-gen, bleeding-edge AI and ML approaches to understand genomic potential, to breed, to do crop placement, to do product optimization, and this convergence of food science with that. So Jason's been a terrific addition to the team, and we've been able to do it in a new facility, in a new headquarters where I'm sitting now. The new headquarters is about 160,000 square feet. Uh, three floors of this four-story building Benson Hill occupies. So the intersection of those three areas, the collaboration space, the, the new facilities, um, though we're not able to enjoy it in the capacity we'd like to right now, really sets the stage for us to realize some amazing milestones over the course of the next couple of years and hopefully fill this facility up as we continue to make progress in the commercial markets. Uh, the other wonderful thing about this facility is it's on the campus of where we started, the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center, uh, which is the largest not-for-profit plant research science center in the world. So to have the entire team under one roof uh, on the campus where we really founded the organization, it's an exciting time for us. And um, I'm really grateful for our investor support, for the ecosystem support that we've received here in St. Louis, for our employees and team members who really made all of this happen. There's, there's a lot of great things to come.